What's up you guys? We're doing an unboxing video of one of the new puffer jackets that just came in. Let me hand this to my beautiful baby. I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited! Oh, this is definitely mine. <laughs> oh, babe! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! <laughs> just absolutely loved it. Look at the white. Oh, man. Oh, that's right up your alley, oh, babe. So mine. Oh, yeah. The Big Bear Weather and More initials right there on the arm, on the sleeve. Look at how beautiful it looks. Wow, babe. Do a twirl. Twa, 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 twirl. Can you even wrap these my purse? <laughs> Definitely mine. I love you guys. Hope you enjoy it, and uh, we will see you soon. Bye, guys. So, you guys, it has begun. Here we go. First storm of the season. Hope you guys are stoked. I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for all the beautiful comments. Also, just real quick, I wanted to let you guys know something. Um, we got a couple letters in the mail one from deborah dixon just a just just a sweet letter she wrote me a two-page really kind 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 letter showing so much support so much love deborah thank you so much i appreciate you big time big time okay um you guys are everything for this channel thank you thank you for just really caring about what i do here and then we also had our friend uh one-eyed dog um, she's been a fan for a long, long time. She sent us 60 bucks cash to help us out with gas and stuff like that. So I really appreciate you, One-Eyed Dog. Thank you very, very much. I've chatted with you today through the comment section just to say thank you, and I really appreciate it. Usually, guys, for the donations, I do a personal video, usually. For every single donation, I'll give you your own personal video on the channel but a lot of people they were getting really irritated with them because there were so many of them not 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 like so many so many but it was like uh my phone or my content would blow up your guys's phone and then you guys some some people would get really frustrated and i'm not here to frustrate people i just wanted people to to know that i am very 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 grateful for the help because just like all of you i i could really use it too so it's very important that i show you guys how much i love you by sending support like that right back to you. So thank you guys so much. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. So right now, as you can see, it's clearly coming down pretty good. It just started. I've been staring out the window ever since I've been up for the day just to see when the first snowflake would come down. And it, it started coming down uh, like basically like this without slowly working its way into it. So we got some good, good rain. The temperature says 50, but I know it's probably in the upper 40s, mid to upper 40s, but we shall see how much lower it goes. But uh, yeah, while we're at this red light, thanks again, Deborah Dixon, our friend One-Eyed Dog. Um, just, <laughs> you guys are just amazing people. Show so much love. And as I said, like I, 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 I put it to good use. It really does help me a lot. And uh, yeah, thank you. I work my butt off and uh, you guys definitely see that. So thank you. And I will never let you all down under any, any, any circumstance. And there was a cute, cute picture that Deborah sent me of her family years ago. So awesome. Thank you so much. That's Howard, Craig and Deborah. Deborah Dixon in 1955, you guys. You guys are amazing people, man. Like, I, I love this channel so much. I love you guys so much. So anyway, thanks again for everything and let's go get it right now. We have our snow tires on as of yesterday. Wanted to make sure that we are prepared for our winter time. And we are prepared. Right now we're on Big Bear Boulevard, just driving through town. Look guys, as I said, I think it's in the mid forties. The temperature dropped significantly real quickly down to 46 but yeah we're just gonna do a uh, a little cruise through through the village and then maybe drive drive down to the dam to see how heavy it's coming down by the dam and we might turn around and come back down highway 18 or we might take highway 38 and uh, go on the other side of the lake to do a, a drive around the lake to see what the weather is like on all sides of our lake at the moment. But again, I can never thank you guys enough for how much love you guys show me and 
how beautiful the comments are. Um, you guys are so impactful on my everyday existence. I, I just cannot thank you guys enough. And even though I do work 60 hours a week with my regular job, and guys, that's minimum 60 hours per week. Like, uh, that's bare minimum. And, and that's been for almost six straight years without technically ever having a day off. Um, even when I went to go visit my dad in Florida, I, I had to take all the phone calls all day long and communicate between my customers and my driver. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a lot of work, but between my job and this YouTube channel, I love what I do. So it's technically not a day of work ever. I'm very, very, very blessed. I urge all of you to find something that you love to do in life, whether you make a lot of money or not, just find something that'll make you happy because you know what? If you can find that happiness before chasing the dollar, everything will fall into place eventually. It will materialize for you, sometimes quickly, sometimes slowly, but it will always materialize, I promise you. Anyway, we are entering the village right now. Oh, I love seeing all these Christmas decorations. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Hopefully each and every single one of you are having a great day. Again, welcome to the first storm of the season. We did have that, that little bit of rain and hail on September 30th, but funny enough, our wet season starts October 1st. That's when the rainy season technically begins, October 1st. So this is our this is the first storm of the rainy season. And I'm excited I can bring it to you. I've never missed a storm in almost nine full years living here, and I'm not planning on doing that now. So let's just take a nice cruise. I'll try not to talk as much. I think I got out most of what I really wanted to say to you guys at the moment. So maybe we could just do a nice little crew to crew crew cruise. Can't, oh, one more thing. I can't wait for you guys to see the launch video for the merchandise, guys. It's incredible. Everything is professionally produced and um, it's, it's, just, it's just spectacular. Like I, I can't believe that this is actually like something we we are doing here. You guys are, are not not gonna believe it. It's it's next next level stuff. Like uh, I'm so proud of it, and I'm excited for you guys to see. Again, we're launching it as soon as we get the first snowflake. Even if it's only one single snowflake that we catch falling from the sky, that's when we're gonna be launching BigBearWeatherAndMore.com with all the merchandise. So I'm. I'm so excited. I'm excited for you guys. Again, so many of you have been asking for years and years, where's the merchandise? Where's the merchandise? And I just I just never had the ability to actually do it. So um, it's, it's we're, we're doing it now. And I am just very, very pleased. I can't wait to see people wearing Big Bear Weather and more stuff around here. That's gonna be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so we're coming to the end of the village right now. This road, Village Drive, is about to, to meet with Big Bear Boulevard, AKA Highway 18. And I forgot to buy myself new windshield wipers for our winter season, but there is still time. There is still time to do it, man. I'm excited for doing it. shield to uh, get a little bit defrosted look at look at the temp it really sank guys look at that 42 I knew it was a lot colder than it said and this is the first year living up here where even when it's not brutally cold I'm feeling really cold there's a place to go sledding I know you can't see it through all the water droplets on the windshield or on the window but that is the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain, and they do have sledding there. The place I went sledding in, a vi in one of the videos we did a couple weeks ago, that's called Big Bear Snow Play. And that's right on Big Bear Boulevard, right next to the Motel 6 on Division and Big Bear Boulevard. Those are the cross streets. 
And don't forget, when we do have snow all over town, I do have in my playlists a video um, of uh, free areas to, to go sledding. I think I did four examples on that one video. Showed you guys four different areas so you, so you don't have to go pay and you can uh, spend that money elsewhere and enjoy yourselves without wasting that money. It's, it's not a waste of money, it's definitely fun. And always look at when you're spending money up here like you're contributing to our economy and helping this town thrive because that's what we, we really need. But again, at the same time, I don't want you guys to be spending all your money. I want you to be able to experience some things without having to spend as much money. So that's what I'd like to do for y'all. This is great, guys, this is great. <laughs> All right, so I'm anticipating when we get to the dam, it's gonna be coming down pretty good. Kind of like it was when we started the video. Ah, temperature has dropped again, 41 degrees, folks, 41 degrees, and I hope still falling. this direction you guys when we do have snow the further we go this direction the more snow you will run into so if you're looking for Airbnbs and stuff like that where you're gonna if you want more snow when you're visiting you're gonna want to find a place from this area further this direction closer towards the Big Bear Dam that's the most snow you'll get in Big Bear Valley of course in Upper Moon Ridge you'll get a lot of snow and right up against the ski resorts, you'll get a lot of snow as well. But when it comes to just the low-lying areas in the valley, this is it. Oh, it's so beautiful. We are so lucky to live here. drive around the lake why not I do have a little bit of work to do right now but because of the weather I can kind of uh, push it back 15 or 20 minutes which I hate doing but for you guys it's worth it as I said I'll try to be quiet for a little bit so I'll try not to talk until we get to the dam I know that's gonna be difficult but I'm gonna try starting right now
All right, we're pulling up to the dam now. Whew. That took so much willpower and discipline to not talk for a couple minutes. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. But I did it. I did it, y'all. I did it. I made it happen. I didn't talk at all. I just went into the drive and I didn't say a word. All right, so instead of going straight to head out of Big Bear, we are going to turn right on Highway 38 and uh, take a cruise around the lake. And then for the next video, we'll probably do the south or the south side, the other side of town from Big Bear City to Baldwin, etc., etc. Maybe hit up Irwin Lake as well and drive up through Sugarloaf and back down. It's such a beautiful day. I love this weather so much. Come on, 40 degrees. Jump down to the 30s for me, please. Do me a favor and jump down to the 30s. Show me some 30s love. I'd like to see that. So pretty. Roll down the window a little bit so we can get a better view. Oh, it's spectacular. The land that I feel good was watching the rain and snow. It makes me so happy. My hair is so nappy. <laughs> Sorry. And we go. And by the way, sorry, my wife can't be here with us today. She's visiting our grandkids. She went down the mountain today to go visit our grandkids. I'm telling you guys, I get so much energy from someone who is not that healthy. The energy I get from this time of year is so incredible. Look at these beautiful colors on these trees, just beautiful. Whoop. A little hydroplane action there. Pretty crazy, the potholes are already developing. That's really odd. That does not make me too comfortable <laughs> about what's gonna happen the rest of this year. If we get as much precipitation as uh, they think we will, I mean, we might not have any roads left. guys for a few of our friends we are driving through the Big Bear Eagles area Jackie and Shadow our good friend Jackie and a couple of our other really close friends on this channel really really love 
the eagles, and so do I. They are just so special, but this is where they live, right here. In one of these trees up here on the left-hand side, those beautiful, beautiful little angels who are famous worldwide, aren't they, guys? Our little, our, our little angel eagles are famous worldwide. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Shadow. Have a great day. I think they heard me. I think they heard me. Okay, we are driving into Fonskin right now. We're gonna point out Grout Creek real quickly. We're about to go over the Grout Creek Bridge. This is one of my favorite spots in all of Big Bear. Here's Grout Creek. All right, you saw it for a second. There it was, there it went. Temperature jumped back up to 41. I was hoping we would go down one degree to get down to 39, but oh well. Also, good advice for all of you when you're up here, um, especially through some of these town proper areas, through the main parts of, of some of these smaller towns, you, you shouldn't be speeding up here anyway just for your own safety, but especially when you go through these towns. For instance, right here in Fonskin, it's 25 mile per hour speed limit. You don't wanna go any faster than that. You do not wanna do it. Keep in mind, our area makes a good amount of money uh, for our, our local economy through ticketing people. So do not let them ticket you. Spend that money elsewhere. I don't want you guys to have a disappointing trip because you got a ticket. But tickets are very prevalent up here, so you need to be very careful. If you guys like to party, go to bars and stuff, please have someone sober drive you home. Get picked up, not just because you'll get a ticket and a Dewey, it's just not smart, it's not wise. Your lives are very valuable. I don't wanna see anything happen or hear about anything happening to any of you guys. I really don't wanna hear that. So just be as responsible as you guys can. I know you are. You are a very responsible people. You're my friends. Most of you know I haven't had a drink since June 23rd, 2013. So I'm a, I'm a recovering alcoholic. And I'm always here to share my experience, strength, and hope with each, each and every single one of you. And if my experience can help you guys in any way, I've, I've won. That's winning for me. So let me know. I'm always here for you guys. I'm always here to chat, communicate, help you guys out the best I can. We are family, whether you like it or not. Lagunita Lodge, straight across. Right there, that big resort. I believe that's Lagunita. Gosh, I'd be embarrassed if that wasn't. Because these are things I should know. And again, reverting back to at the beginning of the video when I was thanking our, our, our couple of friends, Deborah and Melissa, for sending nice letters and donations. Um, just know that since I'm not making the, the individual videos anymore, I will be thanking each of you by name, talking about you for a little bit of time in the next video after I receive whatever people send to me, just so I can still say my thank yous without blowing up your guys' phones too much because of the donations, okay? So just just understand, uh, once I receive it, I'll be thanking you in the next video. I appreciate it. I don't want anyone to think that I'm selfish or, or that I don't care, or that I'm not grateful. You guys are tremendous. I love you guys, and I will always be there to show my gratitude as much as humanly possible. 
Okay, we are on North Shore. Still, it's it's Highway 38. It's kind of interesting how our highway systems work in the in Big Bear Valley. Um, they're just it's just odd. If you stay on this far enough down here, it turns into Highway 18. And if you're not paying attention, you won't realize it. But to stay on Highway 38, which is what we're on now, you need to turn right on Greenway and go all the way down to Big Bear Boulevard and then turn left. And then that's gonna be Highway 38 and then it'll start curving to the right onto the main Highway 38. I know it makes no sense. I don't know what, what they were thinking, but I finally understand it after many years. Up, <laughs> oh, temperature went back up even more to 42 degrees. Definitely need to get some gasoline for the car. Uh, I just hate it because our gas is so expensive up here. When I first moved up here, the gas was, uh, believe it or not, a little bit cheaper than it was down the mountain. And funny enough, when I moved up here as well, I, or like when I was looking to move up here, I never imagined that we would actually be inexpensive for housing because it's a tourist type of a location um, just for vacationers and stuff for the most part so I I expected it to be expensive like Aspen and stuff like that but when I was looking for properties to rent I could not believe how cheap it was but this was back in 2015 a few years after that that's when everything started to double and triple up here and I'm still lucky that I, I'm grandfathered in to the place that I'm living right now. I, I hardly pay anything every month. It's it's a huge blessing. But still, it's still not too bad up here compared to most other places down the mountain. So those of you who have had that same thinking and thought process as I do, that it's much more expensive to live up here than it is down there, it, that's the wrong thinking because it's not true. Now when it comes to your groceries and everything else, yeah, it is pretty expensive up here. But housing, even though they've doubled and tripled all the prices since I've lived here, is still better than it is down the mountain. But yeah, I couldn't believe it when I first moved here. It was, it was remarkably cheap. Okay, so we are coming up to Stanfield Cutoff, which is where we're gonna hang a right and go back across from North Shore to South Shore. We have our time lapse going right now, so that's good. We usually post the time lapse two or three days after the aftermath video. So hopefully we get some snowflakes for the time lapse or else it it might not be that that awesome, but still, the music that I put in these time lapses is so peaceful. It's so, so wonderful. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I really do. Anyway, here's Big Bear Lake. We're at the very end of the lake. And then on this side, We've had water in here all summer, which is the first time since I've lived here. It didn't all evaporate, so that's super cool to see that. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. Again, as it picks up more throughout the day, we will be going back out and doing some more updates, like I usually do, y'all. I'm excited. I'm excited. I don't want to hit my gas because it's wet. I don't want to start sliding and cause any accidents. So we just got to be careful pulling out of here right now. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, coming up here straight ahead. Once we start curving left around this, uh, this little turn up here, this is one of my favorite views in all of Big Bear. Snow Summit just hits you right in the face. 
right here as soon as you make this this little left look at that look at how beautiful that is oh my goodness gracious great balls of fire that is something special and then and then bear mountain straight ahead oh you gotta love it you have got to love it guys hope you enjoyed at the very beginning of the video showing you guys the unboxing of the new puffer jacket we have different all all different types you can choose from hoodies everything you guys this is this is pretty awesome don't forget it's not ready to be launched yet so keep your fingers crossed as soon as we get one snowflake or a million snowflakes that's when we're launching so hopefully that'll be in the next couple days worst case it'll be no later than thanksgiving because i want you guys to be able to get your stuff for christmas the people who are ordering so um the goal is to launch when we get some snow but we'll see love you guys and thank you again for being here with me thank you for all the beautiful comments um you guys really inspire me and give me a lot of hope and make me realize that what i'm doing is worthwhile and that i am helping people couldn't be in a better position than to be impacting people's lives like that so thank you guys once again welcome back to the channel for this for season nine our ninth year doing this and this is storm number one the date just to make sure is november 15th 2023 i love you guys i'll talk to you guys later peace out